Hey guys, Mike here with Century Security Systems Incorporated. In this installment of the Milestone VMS platform, we're going to take a look at the camera settings. I'm going to go ahead and open up the management software. What you're going to want to do is under advanced configuration, go to cameras and storage information and select your camera. You're going to see we've got some options here. We can disable the camera with a simple click of a button. We can also change the camera name. So I'm going to go ahead and change this one to garage camera. And then underneath properties, I'm going to click open. You're going to see when I tried to go to a different screen, it's going to notice that I've made some changes and it's going to ask me to save them. So I'm going to go up top here and click save. That's, that's related to the camera name that I changed. I'm going to go back down here now and click open on the properties window. You're going to see Milestone giving us a tool tip here for managing several cameras at the same time. I'm just going to go ahead and ignore that for now. We're just looking at this specific camera at this point. In the camera properties window, we've got some different tabs across the left hand side here. We've got general, which is where you're going to enable it, decide whether or not you want to have a preview image of the camera, set the name and so on. We've got video where it's going to allow us to set our frame rate. Audio, if the camera has a built in microphone, it will enable audio recording for us. We can take a look at recording properties. It's going to give us some options here. We can record all the time, never using built-in motion detection or particular events such as IO triggers and so on. We can also enable pre and post recording. So from the moment that it detects motion, we can say we want to record the five seconds prior to that and the five seconds after it so that we don't miss any important video feeds. Under recording and archive paths, we're going to select where it's saving it to by default. It's going to enter the information that you have set for your DVR or NVR. We're going to also set retention time for the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I want to have 30 days of recording on this garage camera. Under motion detection. Milestone, I think, is probably the best platform for doing motion detection. Uh, the way they have it set up is fantastic. So we get this real-time indicator here of how much motion it's currently detecting. And we've got a line where it has to get above that line in order to trigger the recordings. We can adjust the sensitivity, motion levels, and, and so on by dragging this bar. So you can see as I move the bar over, it needs more motion to trigger the recording or I can also turn it down. Because there's not much motion in my garage, there's no trees blowing in the wind and so on, I can actually set that quite low so that I make sure I don't miss anything at all. Okay, it also gives me the options here in the upper right hand corner to show a grid. Um, and I can exclude all or include all in the motion settings. Okay, so if you want to exclude what you do is you click on the spot in the grid and as you can see it's turning a dark blue color anything in there will not trigger motion so if i had a flag or a tree you know that was causing the motion i'd simply click on that that area would then not cause it to record constantly i'm going to go ahead and click include all Now, the next option down is the privacy mask. Privacy mask is useful if there's part of the image that you don't want displayed. For example, in a bank, they wouldn't want their computer screens being constantly recorded, so you would enable the privacy mask and then draw an area that you don't want. I'm gonna go ahead and disable that. This camera does not is not a fisheye, so we're not going to have any fisheye lens support in there. 
Now, now that we've covered everything on that side, I'm going to go back to the general tab and click on camera settings. And that's going to pull the settings off of the camera. This is where it's going to allow us to change the resolution quality of the camera, adjust brightness and so on. This is going to give you sort of all of your controls that you'll get by logging into the camera directly. I'm going to cancel out of there. And we'll click OK to get back to our main screen and then click save for to save our changes. So that covers your basic camera settings in the Milestone VMS platform. Thank you.